Need some tips to help you create strong and professional designs? Make sure you are implementing the fundamental principles of design in your work. So what are the fundamental principles of design? Let's talk about some of them today. First, emphasis. This is the focal point of a design and it helps guide the order of importance of each element within a design. It can be any shape, object, or text area that you deem to be the most important part of the message that you want people to focus on. This helps viewers interpret the information in a much clearer way. Next up is balance and alignment. I put these two together because they're often used in tandem in design work. And did you know that the human eye loves to follow sequences? It helps our brain create order in the visual things that we look at. When you use alignment, you're lining up text in a way that is pleasing to the eye. You likely do this subconsciously, left align, right align, centered, that kind of thing. And you can use these functions with shapes and imagery in addition to text. It's also important to use the idea of balance as well with alignment. Balance or symmetry in a design means granting equal emphasis to all objects on both sides of the page or top and bottom, but you can also use asymmetry by having unequal emphasis and this creates an off balance design. All of your designs don't always have to be equally balanced. Creating imbalance might also help you to emphasize a key idea that you're trying to get across. Finally, contrast. This refers to the use of visually different elements. In simplest terms, all you need to do is use opposites or different elements like different colors, sizes, shapes, texture, value against each other. Black and white is a great example of contrast. You can play with any of these visual elements to achieve contrast. As easy as it seems though, it can be hard to apply and it is really important to know when to use contrast and which elements to oppose. One key thing to keep in mind is that design is often a bit different than art and that it often has to have a purpose. You're often designing to help people learn about something, utilize something, or to help slash educate and form someone on something. What the function or purpose of your work is, is what really helps it guide you in your design decisions. These principles do a great job of helping the viewer disseminate information. Check back for part two, where we will explore the final four principles of design. I hope you found this helpful. And if there is a specific principle of design that you really enjoy using, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy these kinds of videos, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.